What is going on guys, Ben here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the most out of your Finder in OS X Mavericks. Now some of the features I'm going to be showing you are still available in previous versions of OS X, such as Mountain Lion, Lion, and OS Snow Leopard. Now we're going to jump right into the action, and the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to use tabs in your Finder. Now about a couple years ago I released a video on an app called Total Finder that allowed you to add tabs. Now thankfully OS X Mavericks has incorporated that feature right in and to enable it you want to go to view and select show tab bar. Now as you can see once you do that we do have tabs just like we would in any other web browser such as Safari, Chrome, or Internet Explorer. This allows us to create new tabs rather than having multiple windows on our screen, which can clutter our desktop. If you'd like, you can also drag a tab to a new window, let go, and it will just create a new window. Now, another new feature is tags. Now, we can use tags to sort things like photos, documents, music, downloads, and other sorts of things like that. Now, tags are really easy to use, and there's a few way of adding tags onto your different items. Now one of the first ways is selecting the item you want to add the tag to, select your settings bar in the menu bar, and then selecting some of the tags that you have. For example, I'll select the red tag. You'll notice now that in the applications we have a red little circle right here. If we were to go and click on our tags, if I click red, you'll see that we now have the applications tagged inside. We can also add and remove tags by right clicking on our item and hovering over and selecting the tag again. You can also quickly add items to tags by selecting the item, clicking the tag in the menu bar, and then typing or selecting which tag you want to add it to. Now the next feature is viewing options. We can access this by selecting our settings panel again and going down to show view options. Over to the left hand side we can change our icon size, which can be very useful if we have difficulty seeing our icons. We can also change our text size, which can help this out a little bit as well. This can help clean up our finder window, as well as help us show information that we might need on a daily use. Another feature I thought was really cool is if we have our size selected, and if we go down to calculate all sizes, it will automatically calculate the size of the folders. This feature can come in handy if we want to see what is taking up the most space on our hard drive so we can cut down and make our Macs a little faster. Moving on to customization, if we go to Finder and select Preferences, we have some things we can mess around with. Starting off with the General tab, we have the ability to view some different things on our desktop, as well as when we open up a new Finder window, which page we would like to see. We can also enable the ability to open up a new folder in tabs instead of new windows. In tags, we have the ability to add and delete tags, as well as rename tags, which we can also do in our Finder window itself. To rename a tag, simply just click it and then type what you'd like. In sidebar, we can enable and disable some items that we'd like to see in the sidebar. So for example, if I don't want to see downloads, I can uncheck that, or if I want to see movies, I can go ahead and check that. We can also find some very hidden customization options if we go to view and then customize toolbar. This allows us to add and remove some items that we may or may not want in our finder menu bar. We can easily click and drag some items to the menu bar that we might want, as well as drag them down in order to remove them. Lastly, we have sharing. Now, if you select any sort of item you have in your finder, you can see that the share items button is enabled. We can go ahead and click that in order to email this, message it, airdrop, as well as add things to Facebook or Twitter if we do have that enabled in our system preferences. Well guys, that wraps up this video on how to get the most out of your Finder window. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.